So I'm Anne-Marie Hutchison, I'm a consultant MSK physiotherapist from Swansea Bay University um, Health Board. So my project is called Pop to Hop the Smart Way, and this is a rehabilitation app for patients who have ruptured their Achilles tendon. It's called Pop to Hop because from when a patient pops their Achilles to hopefully getting them back hopping. And it's called the Smart Way because in Swansea, we've developed a pathway of care for patients who ruptured their Achilles tendon. And we developed this in 2008, known as the Swansea Morriston Achilles Rupture Treatment Protocol, which we've done a lot of research on and published a number of papers. So this protocol is um, used both nationally and, and, and internationally. So a little bit of background in relation to the Achilles tendon. So it's the thickest and strongest tendon in the body, attaching your calf muscle to your heel bone. And the importance of it is, is to balance us, give us the spring in our step when we walk in and allow us to run, jump and hop. So ruptures of the Achilles tendon are very common. In the UK, they affect up to 10,000 people per year. They don't just affect the sporting population. 20% of the ruptures um, occur in the elderly population also. Whilst this injury isn't normally limb-threatening or life-threatening, it can have huge significance on our patients for them being able to return to their sporting and recreational activities. It can also be career threatening in some instances, depending on the activity demands of the patient, but particularly for the sporting population. And it also can have a huge effect on the elderly for their um, mobility. Um, one of the biggest problems and challenges we have with an Achilles tendon rupture is that the rehabilitation process is very lengthy with the patient being immobilized for at least 10 weeks and then needing to go through a rehabilitation exercise program for up to eight months for them be, to be able to return to their sport and activity. So this is not only quite frustrating for the patient, but also means it takes up a huge amount of physiotherapy resource for the NHS which at a time of austerity can be um, quite difficult. And when physio departments are under huge pressure um, to get patients seen um, quite quickly, we are trying to increase the responsibility that we put on our patients to um, self-manage or take on the accountability of their own rehabilitation. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic has further exacerbated this problem when we've um, been um, on times been unable to see patients in the face-to-face -face capacity. So patients, most patients are happy to take on the responsibility of and the accountability of um, rehabilitating themselves. However, the, the um, patients report dissatisfaction with the amount of physio they receive, more from the point of view of they are afraid if the tendon is going to re-rupture. So whilst we've tried to maximise the um, resource of paper um, work for patients to get them through the rehabilitation process, the patients themselves um, suggested that was it a way of us putting this rehab process on a digital platform to help them get through the um, process? Well. Seeing as most of the physiotherapy is an exercise driven protocol rather than hands on physiotherapy, we felt that this was a good idea that the patients were coming up with. So this idea essentially was driven from our patients with the aim then of improving our patient satisfaction and hopefully um, outcomes by providing them with reassurance as they go through the rehabilitation programme of having this digital platform alongside and then empowering them to take on remote more responsibility for their injury hopefully then reducing the variation in care and increasing the equality and reducing then the demands on the physio departments and then hopefully providing some cost avoidances to the health board. So I presented this challenge at the Welsh he um, Health Hack back in 2019 and was fortunate to be um, successful in this and be provided with this opportunity to develop the app together with an industrial party called Yellow Sub Creative. So this is a demonstration of 
the app. So we currently, the app is in its draft format and is being tested on our patients. This is the second draft version of it. And one of our patients, um, David Beard, is currently on the call who hopefully can give some feedback from a patient perspective in a second as well. So, The, at the start of the app, obviously, the patients have to um, agree to the disclaimer. They pop their name in, then they have a choice of whether they want to put a photograph of themselves in on the app or not. They choose then whether they want to return to run, jump in and hop in, or whether it's just to normal activities. There's mentors on the app, but let you hear the first mentors message. Not hearing that, Damari. Can you hear it? No. Uh, right, OK. I'll just fast forward it then, because um, it's the way I set it up at the beginning, I think. Sorry. No so worries. this is at the start of the app, a mentor will give a message um, um, the, of, of his experience of rupturing his Achilles tendon. And then at each stage of the app, the mentor will pop back up again to, um, you know, encourage the, the patient on, on how they are doing. So um, as you could see, that was Colin Charvis, one of our past patients. We've also got an orthopedic surgeon on there who's ruptured his Achilles, a young girl and an elderly gentleman, our own mentors. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit so you can see then the exercises. So this is an eight month rehabilitation exercise program which shows the patients what to do on a daily basis. It gives a written instruction of the exercise and then also a video of the exercise for the patient to follow. The debug is on there just for us for the draft version. Also on the app then there's um, uh, um, an educational part so the patient knows what else they can do in terms of um, in the gym, for example, going on a bike, but not being able to run, jump and hop in the early phases. And then frequently asked questions. So, for example, should my ankle swell? What's the chances of the tendon re-rupturing? When can I return to my sports? And then finally, there's a progression path in the app so the patient can see then how well they're doing. The app is time locked, so it keeps it safe so the patient can't progress and move on um, too quickly. So, um, obviously, the app is in its draft format at the moment. Um, we need to see if the app is going to be successful. So to do this, we are currently collecting data um, of the service without the app, and then we'll look at it with the app. So this is essentially a quality improvement project. So we're, we're collecting data in terms of pain and function using a PROM, so patient-related outcome measures, the patient satisfaction of the service without the app, any complications which are happening currently, for example, re-ruptures, and then the number of treatments which are required at the moment. So that will inform us in terms of costs. And then we, once the app is complete um, and the patients are happy with it, we will then roll it out and collect this data then after the, the app has been developed. And hopefully then if it's found to be successful, it will then be launched on the um, app shop where it will be free to download. So this project hasn't been without its challenges. The biggest challenge for me probably has been the bureaucracy around the app. It's involved, to get around this, it's involved huge collaborative work in, um, between myself and the Bevan Commission with a number of departments, so uh, internal and external parties really. Um, we realised that the app really needed to be launched in Welsh as well as English, so that's required me getting some more funded from for the app, which has been kindly given by our Help in Hand charity within Swansea Bay Health, Health Board. Um, the research and development department have been fantastic, not only with the project itself, but also the IP around it and the financial side of looking after the money for the app. I've worked with the uh, Medical Health Regulatory Authority to check that the app wasn't actually a medical device because that greatly changes in the way it needs to be developed. Our IT departments, the legal teams for the disclaimer, obviously the app developer, Yellow Sub Creative. We did the filming for the app in the local leisure centre, which then meant we had to go through the media team because the app would be put on the app store. 
also because of the COVID um, virus, that meant it delayed the launching of the app because of the refilming of, of the exercises which needed to be refilmed. Our medical illustrations department, the patients have been absolutely fantastic, not only with the initial idea, but also as acting as mentors on the app, testing the app, and then working with us on the quality improvement side of it. Um, whilst I am presenting this today, I'm not alone and I'm, I'm not the only clinician involved with the development of this app. We've got a number of specialist physiotherapists who've been involved in the design, as well as four foot and ankle orthopaedic surgeons, two of whom have ruptured their Achilles themselves. Um, we work with a statistician in Swansea University and also our headquarters in relation to us being able to put sponsorship on the app to allow for the future proofing of it. So my experience, my Bevan experience has been a fantastic experience um, in that I failed on a number of occasions before um, being given this opportunity by the Bevan Commission to get the app um, off the ground and running. I've been provided with professional support at the highest level. Um, I have undoubtedly um, gone through a huge learning experience um, in developing this, as well as a number of the departments in my health boards, I think I've had uh, gone through a huge learning experience also. Um, I'm indebted to my mentor, Chris Martin, who has been, uh, his willingness to part knowledge and to support me at every step of the way um, of the app has been um, fantastic. And also, the Bevan Commission, I think, is a, we're very fortunate to have in Wales to give clinicians like myself an opportunity to trial these innovative ideas and, and um, give, give them a go. So I'm very thankful that we've got them as a, as a party in Wales, supporting NHS Wales. Obviously, if our app is found to be, um, works for the Achilles ruptures, then the aim is that this will be rolled out then for other elective um, orthopaedic and secondary care orthopaedic problems. Thank you.